It's really exciting, honestly, to see that new talent come in and do so well. She's on the ball so much, right, that she's going to dictate the pace of the game. I, I told her when she came, like, don't put any pressure on yourself. All you have to do is just play. She wants to score. She wants to make plays. I, I definitely did not expect to walk in and get myself on the field as much as I did. She's, she's got the uh, tremendous, well-rounded game. If we have three more years with her, so that, that's the good news for us. She's a true soccer player. I had a chance to see uh, CC perform uh, last summer, uh, about a month probably before she came to campus. Uh, so it was really the first chance I had to see her and um, having that chance to kind of get out and see her play with her club team uh, was exciting. Obviously it led her team uh, to a run, uh, you know, on the club level to, to the national championship stage. Um, knew that, you know, that type of a player on that type of a team was going to be able to come in and have an impact. But I think she was, I mean, she's a good player. That, that's why I recruited her. And, and I got her really early in the recruiting process, which is um, probably one of the reasons that, that, that we were able to get a player of her caliber. Um, she was, I mean, the first recruit for that class. I was hoping that I would be able to get playing time and I was definitely trying to put forth the most effort and kind of showcase myself as much as I could. And I guess I did the best to my ability and I just kept doing that day after day. And I, I definitely did not expect to kind of walk in and get myself on the field as much as I did. I was very nervous. I didn't want to choke or miss the goal or make a mistake. I didn't want to kind of do that to my teammates. I understood that soccer is a game of mistakes, but at the same time, I didn't want to let my teammates or my coaches down. I, I told her when she came, like, don't put any pressure on yourself. All you have to do is just play. After a couple of games, you kind of, you slowly start getting used to like, it's okay, it, it is the game of soccer, but as a freshman, it's just, it's very nerve wracking. Although you grow up playing soccer, it just, a different level, a different speed. I think one of the, the great things about CC and, and obviously where she plays, uh, particularly being uh, centrally within within the, the park, is that she's going to be on the ball a lot. And, you know, the thing that's, that's tremendous about her is, is not so much that she's great going forward, but her defensive work rate is, is tremendous. And, you know, in, in our game, the midfield is really the engine room. And so the fact that she's able to, to defend as well as she is, tackle as well as she is, and then take that industriousness and, and drive forward with the ball. Cece is um, a really great player. She She's vocal on the field, you know. She's very, like, tenacious, I would say. She wants to go score. She, you can see it in her when she plays. She wants to get up there with the team. She wants to score. She wants to make plays. So I love playing with her. Me and her, um, I played up top, and she played in the middle. So we had some great plays together last season, and I hope that it continues. She's good defensively, attacking-wise. She's a game changer. She changes your program. And, and I think for us, like, that, that's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we wanted. It's really exciting, honestly, to see that new talent come in and do so well. Um, we needed someone, you know, to come in and help lead the attack. So I was really excited for her, and I know she's going to have a great four years. You know, when we recruited her, that, that was the hope, um, obviously, um, in terms of how much success she would have, and that was kind of going to be on her. I mean, it, it's, it's not a huge surprise to me that she had the success she did. She defends really well, and, and I think that that people probably don't see that as much, but the amount of ground she covers um, is, 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 I mean, ridiculous. The, the amount of miles she probably puts in on a game um, is probably anywhere from eight to 10. Um, she plays in the center of the midfield, so she's always on the ball. Um, so she's got to work both sides of it. And and I think just um, just her tactical awareness of where to be on, on the field from a defensive standpoint, um, it, it's, so, it's so high for a freshman that, that it's obviously, it's good for us, but she's, she has the ability to see things and read the game really well, which which is nice because a lot of times coming in, there's more of a teaching or learning curve. I would definitely say I had some ups and downs. I think there were some in inconsistencies, but I think that came from being a freshman and being a little nervous. See her growth, you know, I, I think, you know, from August through, uh, you know, to, to kind of November last year, she, she grew a lot, but Really, her, her growth has only continued. I know a lot of freshmen going into their college performance 
usually don't have that big of an impact and I didn't expect to. I was very happy and honored to have that opportunity to have that much playing time and have that role on the field and with my teammate. She's also a good player. You know, she, her work rate is, is second to none. Um, she, she reads the game well, she, she studies the game, but she's also a really good teammate. Um, and, and I think the players around her um, obviously wanted to have, you know, have her be successful and, and do everything possible to make her successful. But I think that was reciprocated on her end too. My teammates and coaches made it pretty easy and it wasn't all that hard because it was just playing the game. Especially after like team bonding week, when we got to know each other, I think more on a, like a personal note and not so much on soccer, it gave us the opportunity to kind of understand each other more emotionally. And then once we were on the field, we were able to kind of read those cues of, okay, I can kind of see that she's getting more in her head and she can kind of say to me or I can say to my teammate, like, okay, take a breath, like you're okay. An upperclassman who's Jensen Marheim, who is one of my closest friends on the team. She plays in the midfield with me and she really like took me under her wing and helped me through a lot. And if I had any questions, I would always go to her and she could just read me like a book if she knew if I was succeeding. She would kind of keep biting at it and saying like, good work, keep going, good work, keep going. Or if I, she saw me struggling, she knew what to say. I mean, she played with Ben Smartheim, who was, you know, one of our captains going on those will be our third year. So, so having her sit, sit next to Jay was probably, you know, helpful in terms of her growth and her you know, confidence and composure on the ball, knowing that she had the support of the people around her. Cece, um, makes me a better player in a lot of ways, actually, you know. I um, struggled at times last year going by myself in the attack. I, I got hurt a couple times, so like building up that confidence and she helped me build my confidence back by you know, making plays with me and wanting to make those combinations with me. So I would say that her being willing to go in the attack and like go at them strong made me want to do that as well. It was a, one of the best feelings just because, I guess, coming out of freshman year, you don't you don't think that, like at least you don't think you're gonna go into your freshman year and get a lot of playing time and have, I guess, like you don't think you're gonna play a lot. And then to go in and, I guess, get most of the playing time and succeed and be on a team that is close and, have a lot of girls on your team that are good and to kind of come out of your season with that is something that like it's hard for me to even find words. Uh, she rightfully earned uh, you know the ability to, to be all conference but um, I think she deserved more and, and you know part of that is, is on the success she had and part of that's on the success that the, her teammates uh, allowed her to have to have those that uh, you know that impact I was, I was very excited for, um, you know, I think, but, you know, any individual award is, is the credit to the team. You know, she doesn't get those things with, with, without the, the players around her. Um, but, you know, as a program, you know, anytime you can have a player recognized, it's, uh, it's great because I, I think CC obviously deserves it. She's worked extremely hard, and but she's not satisfied. I think for her, that's, that's just, just, you know, kind of something extra. She, she would rather have a team success. and. Um, obviously, that's that's motivating for her and for the players around her. But um, for us as coaches, is exciting. Obviously, having a freshman and, and knowing that we're going to have her for a few more years is a good thing. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think the relationships with teammates have become even stronger. And now that like saw like going into hopefully this season coming up, being I think even more okay with being like a vocal leader and being a little bit stronger in that area now that I kind of have that voice, I think. Um, I'm excited to kind of keep growing as a team and, and as an individual and just keep getting better. And I think as well as myself and my teammates, we're just going to keep growing and getting better. And I'm, I think we're all going to just continue to succeed.